Leftovers are brilliant on a barbecue. Now yesterday I roasted a magnificent gammon joint and today I've got some leftover that I'm going to use as the star for some barbecue grilled cheese toasties. Now you can use any good quality bread for these. I've chosen a sourdough and it has got quite a lot of holes in it but I like that because the cheese runs through and goes all crispy. So you just butter the bread like you would with any sandwich but for these the butter ends up on the outside. So I'm just going to flip them over and they're ready to fill. So the first sandwich, a lovely piece of gammon, some cheddar, plenty of it, because that's gonna make the glue that goes in between the sandwich and sticks it together. Sprinkle of chili, because I like things spicy, some coriander, and then a big dollop of this aubergine pickle. You could use mango chutney instead if you prefer. So the second sandwich is gammon again. A lovely bit of Stilton some walnuts, they're going to add a really nice crunch, and a sprinkle of parsley for freshness. So for sandwich three, I'm going to do a vegetarian option. So I've got some chard and some spring onions. I'm going to wilt over a hot grill just for a second, just to colour it a little bit. They go on here, and then top with some lovely oozy brie that's going to melt beautifully. And that's it three sandwiches ready for the grill. I've got the barbecue really nice and hot and I've been heating up a plancha like a hot plate. You could cook the sandwiches directly on the grill bars, but if you do it on a hot plate, you catch all that lovely melting cheese and I don't think you want to lose any of that. So I'm just going to slide them onto the plancha one at a time, give them a press down. Because the butter's on the outside, it's going to melt and go beautifully crispy. They're going to take about three or four minutes each side. I'm going to shut the lid because they'll cook quicker. So once they're beautiful and golden crisp on the outside and molten hot in the middle, they're done. Take them off, but just wait a minute or two before tucking in because you don't want to burn your tongue. And then enjoy the best leftovers you can imagine.